In this lesson, we will create a DIP14 using the manual symbol editor in Allegro. We want to go to File, New, and Package Symbol. And be sure to put in a drawing name. In this case, it's going to be DIP14. And hit OK. And the next thing we want to do is set up our parameters. So we go Setup, Design Parameters, open up the Design tab. Our user units is mils. The size we're going to put is A, which is a, the smallest um, uh, size paper we can put. And the left is going to be a minus 2,000, and the Y is a minus 2,000. And this will bring our corner of the board down and to the left, and the zero, zero point will be up and to the right. And the type, of course, is package. And we will auto-create a place bound if we don't put one in, but we will create our own place bound. And click OK. If you notice, we have our uh, 0, 0 point right here, which is 2 inches to the uh, right and 2 inches up. The next thing we're going to do is put in our pad stacks. We see that we have 14 pins, and the first pin is going to get a square pad. And uh, the square pad will be pin 1, and that will be our 0, 0 point. So the next thing we're going to do is add our pad. And we go into the um, layout pins. And then we go and open up our options window. And we're going to put in our 60S38D, which is already here. But to show you how to do it, we press this button and we select it from here, 60S38D. Say OK. And it flies right into here. And then we go into our command line, and we we're going to put in uh, x space 0 space 0, and hit an Enter. And the pin flies right into there. Let's zoom in a little bit. To zoom in, we say Done, and we zoom in. And there are many ways to zoom in. I just use the middle roller button on the mouse, or you can go to View and zoom in, zoom out, zoom world, anything you want to do. The next thing we're going to do is put uh, these six pins. These six pins get round pads, and these are a tenth apart, or 100 mils. So we go back to our design, and uh, we go Layout, Pins. And um, we're going to change the 60S38D to a 60C38D. So we go to our button, click on that, and we see a 60C38D, say OK. So we know we're going to put six of these pins in a row. So we click that to six. And um, the spacing, as you recall, is uh, 100, so we put 100 in here, and we're going to go to the right. Now, the the start point will be in uh, the x100 space 0. So we go to our command line, and we put in x space 100 0, and just hit a return or an enter. And now we put in our six pads. So we've installed these pins. The next uh, row of pins that we're going to be install is this row here. We see that these are 300 mils apart uh, in the Y. And of course, uh, 100 mils uh, uh, from pin to pin. And we're going to have seven pins. So let's put that data in. So we change the quantity now to 7. And uh, the spacing is still 100. But instead of going to the right, we're going to the left. 
So let's put that to the left. And we have to have a starting point. Remember, the starting point is going to be about here somewhere. And it's going to be 600 in the x and 300 in the y. So we put that in our command line. So we have it in our command line. And everything looks good. And we're going to press Enter. So now we have all our pins installed. The next thing we're going to do is put in assembly top outline. The assembly top outline is a true representation of the body. We see that the body is 764 mils this way and 256 mils this way. And what we we're looking for is this uh, point right here, which would be a minus in the X and a positive in the Y. And I'm going to show you how to arrive at this point. The formula to arrive at these points is A minus B divided by 2 equals C. So we know the pin span is 600. And we subtract 764 from that equals minus 164. And we divide that by 2, gives us a minus 82 for the x. For the y, we have 300, which is the, uh, uh, the span of the pins, minus the 256 equals 44 divided by 2 equals 22. So to add the line, we go into Add Line. And we want package geometry, which is right here. And we already have assembly top. And if we look, uh, we have many, many options. You could put, we will be putting in silkscreen top as well. Uh, but right now, assembly top. So we put in our X and Y locations, X space minus 82, 22. And that's represented here. This is all the math we did, minus 82 and 22. And, um, and then we hit an Enter. Now that gives us the first point. Now we know that the uh, length is 764, so we can put that in. So in order to bring the line to the right, uh, we're going to do an IX764, which is an incremental move. So let's put uh, that in right now. And we know that we want to go up 256. So we do an I, IY 256. And now we want an IX minus 764. And that will make it go to the left. And an IY minus 256. That will make it go down. And that completes our outline. And the next thing I'm going to do is put our grids on. And um, we're going to go into Setup Grids. And the reason we do that is on our non-etch, we don't want a 100 mil grid. We want 25. So we put in 25 in the X, 25 in the Y. We say OK. Now to make this uh, component look real, let's put a little notch in it like that. Now if we look at these numbers right here, these represent the X and Y locations of our cursor. So this is the middle of our component. If you notice it says minus 75 and 150. What we're really going to start it off at is a minus 82. Remember this is off grid as you can see. So uh, it, we want to start it here which is, if you see it right here, well, of course, uh, if I move it, it's, it's, it's actually 175. So it'll be minus 82, 175. And we're going to add line again. And we see that we're in the correct uh, package geometry assembly top. So we put in x minus 82, 175. And that looks pretty good. And um, I can bring it to here 
and I can bring it to down, but I can't bring it here because this is a minus 82. And um, so we see that we're, uh, if we look at this number here, we are at uh, 125. So I've put in minus 82, 125, but I didn't put the x, so let's put that x, x space, and we're good to go, and let's hit an enter, and we're done. Done and done. After you're done, you'd probably want to do a sanity check to make sure everything is symmetrical. I'm going to go into the measure routine. And in measure routine, uh, you can put them all on, you can put them all off. Uh, we're going to use pins and other segments. And if I do a uh, pin here and this point here, and we look right over here, we see that the X is 82 and the Y is 22, correct? This one to here is... Um, and we're going to go from there to here. That's um, 82, 22. Now we go from this one to this one. But I didn't hit the point there. There we go. Uh, not quite. That one to there and there. And that's 82, 22. And if I click on that and I hit that, that's also 82 and 22. So we did our job right. And the next thing we're going to put is the silkscreen outline. The silkscreen outline doesn't have to be all that accurate as the uh, assembly top. Uh, but you do want to encapsulate all the pins and the body and everything that goes with it. So we're going to say add line. And we're going to put package geometry. And this time instead of assembly top, we're going to say silkscreen top. And we're going to start here, and we want to encapsulate everything, so it's going to be right there, there to there, coming down to here. And we're going to put a little notch in it right here, just to denote uh, pin 1. And there, and we're done. The next thing we're going to do is put our... Uh, labels on, which is for the uh, silk screen top and the assembly top. And we go into layout, labels, and ref des. We see that ref des assembly top. Um, text block, I would say, would be four, would be a good one. Let's try that one. And um, click on the component. And we're going to put a capital U asterisk. And that looks pretty good. And the cell screen references is, is going to be on the outside. I'm going to use my up arrow just to bring me up a little bit. And the next thing we're going to do is change the assembly top to the silk screen top. And we'll click in here and put a U asterisk. Another thing we're going to add is a device type. And we go into Layout, Labels, Device. And go into the Options. And the device type is going on to the uh, assembly top. So just put that there. Just put DEV. Done. At this point, let's check some of our work. I'm going to Utilities, Show Element, and I'm going to say Text. So if we click on Dev, we see that it's a device type on the assembly top. If I click on this, which should be Silkscreen, Ref Des Silk Screen, and if we click on this one, it's Ref Des Assembly Top. So everything looks pretty good. And if we go into Edit Move, we can clean up um, some of this. Let's put you there and maybe this down a little bit so that it doesn't bump into each other. 
and we're uh, maybe bring this down a little all done the next thing we're going to do is add a package boundary package boundary is necessary so that parts don't bump, bump into each other when you're placing the board the first thing we're going to do is going to edit and um, Z copy shape now Z copy shape will give you a shape within this boundary here that we've we've identified and we want a package geometry place bound top and we go into our find filter we turn everything off but lines and we click on this and that has put in our place boundary now we also want to include these pins so what we do is we go into shape edit boundary and we click on this bring it up to here bring it over to here and bring it down okay it wasn't quite in it but we got it and then we do the same thing to this side make sure we got it this time we got it and bring it over and now you have your package boundary the next thing I'm going to suggest is to change the uh, color of this uh, place boundary so if we go to color and we go into geometry and we want to go to place bound top and let's make it red place bound top right there and let's say OK and now we can see the place boundary a little better and if I turn off the grids you can see that it is all filled next thing we want to do is add a package height so the package height is this number right here goes from where the pins end in the board because these are going through the board to the top which is 197 so let's do setup and then we go to areas and then we say package height and we click on the area that we want and we see that the max height we want is 197 which is right there uh, I'm sorry the minimum height says that which is wrong let's put let's correct that and this would be 197 and then we right click done if we want to check to make sure the height got input properly we can go into display uh, element and we just click on our um, shape and we see that the package height max is 197 this just gives you all the uh, uh, dimensions of the boundary and uh, we did it right and of course the last thing that we do is we save it we just say file uh, save and we say yes because this is what we really want and um, we're done it also says a simple dip 14 PSM has been created and this is exactly what is going to come through when we uh, input our uh, net list and that concludes the lesson on creating a, our dip 14